By the second quarter of the 20th century, the problem of studio sound recording was successfully solved. However, the field sound recording capacity enabled by a phonograph were not enough for the potential consumer due to the low recording duration and fast deterioration of the carrier. That's why the attempts to create a better device of the kind continued and gave birth to an apparatus that was invented by Alexander Shorin and was later named after him a Shorinophone. Since the early 20s of the 19th century, the device became commonly known as a dictaphone. Structurally, this apparatus was designed to mechanically record and reproduce sound using film. The Shorinophone enabled multi track mechanical sound recording on a film glued to make up an endless ring and placed inside a specially constructed cassette. The recordings made on the device were reproduced by its wealth. The possibility of mass distribution recordings was not available. Sound was recorded with the help of a corundum of ruby bead by cutting out a spiral track corresponding to the sound vibrations being recorded. At playback, the bead was replaced by a ruby needle. At each rotation of the film ring, the bead that recorded sound moved further below until all the film was used. A 35mm film could hold over 50 sound tracks. There existed professional portable, journalistic and stationary registration shrinophones, household shrinophones that were used with the radio receiver and could record voice from microphone or the text of a radio program were also offered. Production of shrinophones were generally terminated in the 50s when tape recorders became widely popularized.